For over 25 years, Gilead Sciences has been committed to addressing areas of unmet medical need. Now, we are building a pipeline of novel oncology therapies for a range of cancers. To learn more about Gilead's pipeline in oncology, please visit booth 3428 or go to gilead.com. Gilead, advancing therapeutics, improving lives. Thousands of scholars and researchers submitted their abstracts for display here at ASH, and the late-breaking abstracts are something you won't want to miss. When the society solicits input for abstracts for the meeting, there's always a couple that aren't quite mature enough by the time of abstract submission. So the society allows for submission of late-breaking abstracts, those abstracts whose results are important enough to be included in that section. This year, the Society has identified six such abstracts, and some of them really changed the paradigms in the way we think about some very common diseases, such as the myeloproliferative neoplasms or platelet storage disorders. Several years ago, ASH made a commitment to get involved with hematologic care in developing countries, and it continues today. They've been collaborating with Health Volunteers Overseas, or HVO, because that organization vets a location site, makes sure it's safe for volunteers, and they have contacts in local hospitals. But ASH is always looking to recruit more volunteers. We're very much interested in increasing the number of volunteers because uh, the, the sites that we're working at I have need of us and I especially need pediatric hematologists and people who are expert in hematology lab capabilities because we very much need to work with our, our colleagues in these uh, uh, several sites to upgrade their diagnostic capabilities. Dr. Stanley Schreier, the chair of the HVO Oversight Committee, explains what hematologists get from volunteering overseas. Every volunteer has said, this is exactly why they went to medical school. This is why they became doctors. This is why they wanted to deliver care to on a one-on-one -on -one basis and actually see people getting better. And uh, in a sense, it, it avoids some of the complexity of our, our practice these days with insurance companies and pre-authorization. This is a chance to deliver medicine directly uh, to people who really need it and get better because of their intervention. If that's not convincing, hear what the only hematopathy pathologist in Uganda has to say about the importance of volunteering. We definitely need volunteers to help us to train out the general pathologists in, in hematopathology so that they are able to help out in the diagnosis of hematology diseases and also to build capacity via training our residents in pathology to be able to do the hematopathology diagnosis and also to if we have trained if we have volunteers to train the medical students they will entice them to love doing hematology so that we are able to build capacity. And I be, this has been going on for the last five years and right now we've enticed a number of students who want to come up to do a fellowship in hematology or hematopathology and I believe very soon we'll start building capacity for this. For more information on this program and how you can volunteer, just head to hematology.org. As ASH wraps up its final day, attendees will meet for the Best of ASH session, reviewing takeaway themes and hot research topics led by the 2013 Annual Meeting Scientific Co-Chairs. We really don't, um, we don't uh, distinguish between uh, uh, adult and pediatric hematology, but instead we look at, I mean, the, really the splitting line is between um, malignant and non-malignant hematology so that, uh, for example, in the session that, uh, that I'm looking at, um, I have uh, several uh, uh, congenital disorders that, I, that uh, there's been really good new discoveries about uh, their pathophysiology, their genetic basis, etc. And uh, those generally would be uh, diseases that concern uh, pediatricians. Uh, and, uh, of course, there's, there's many other diseases that, that concern the adult hematologist. With more than 4,600 abstracts presented over the course of the meeting, this session condenses the information and spotlights the year's biggest breakthroughs. Make sure to grab a seat in 2013's Best of Ash. I'm joined now by the co-editors of the textbook Ash Sap, and they are out with the fifth edition. Tell me, what are some of the new topics you've included in this edition? 
Well, we've added several new chapters. Uh, for example, in the uh, non-malignant hematology section, we previously had an important chapter on consultative hematology. We reformatted that and, and broke out a whole other chapter on consultative hematology and women's health. There is a new chapter on clinical stem cell and bone marrow transplantation. This consolidates information on transplant that was previously scattered among disease-specific chapters and now is its own uh, separate chapter. Uh, in addition, we uh, previously had only one chapter on lymphomas and now we have a separate chapters on non-Hodgkin lymphoma and Hodgkin's disease, both expanded chapters. You've also included a few questions to help with people who are training, correct? Yes, we've added, uh, first of all, uh, individuals can use the individual questions in the book uh, for maintenance of certification. There's also an online uh, maintenance of certification uh, program through ABIM that's linked to this book that can also be used. And you've also gotten a lot of great feedback on these self-assessment test questions, correct? A lot of practicing hematologists who have to recertify with the American Board of Internal Medicine every 10 years uh, use the ASHSAP uh, question book for um, preparation for the secure examination. In addition, many of the specialty fellows uh, and, and trainees who are going to be taking the exam for initial certification find this a, a very useful tool to figure out what they know and consolidate their knowledge and point out gaps in their, their knowledge. Those are some great additions to the ASH SAP 5th edition and if you want to pick up a copy just head to hematology.org for all the information you need on accessing that textbook. For ASH News TV, I'm Rachel Kopchak.